my first end season takeover in FC 25 has to be with my favorite club, Barcelona. The goal is going to be to win as many trophies as possible while developing an incredible team and eventually making Barcelona the world's greatest club. But wait, what does that mean? Is being the greatest club just about winning trophies? Well, one of the challenges we've got is to win 25 trophies. Then we need to also win three Champions Leagues and also a treble. But does completing all of this make Barcelona the greatest club in the world? I don't think so. Because for Barcelona, it's more than trophies. It's a club that believes heavily in its youth academy in La Masia. And so one of our most important challenges today is to develop a youth academy only team with every player being 85 plus rated. And for the final challenge, we need one of those youth academy players to win a Ballon d'Or. Let me Yamal, my money's gonna be on you. If we can complete all five of these challenges in 10 seasons, we've officially made Barcelona the greatest club in the world. All right, boys, kicking off FC 25 takeovers, and I'm so freaking excited. Now, you guys have seen our challenges are already pretty difficult, so we're gonna keep the wheel nope. out of this one. But yo, I still feel winning 25 trophies is gonna be tough. Plus, there's so much for us to do. We're gonna have to figure out the perfect tactics, scout some youth academy players too, because you know one of the challenges we've got, building a full youth academy 11. We're gonna need some talents from here, but also in the present, we've got to get Barca back to winning trophies. For that though, we're gonna need to make signings, especially because Mark andre de Stegen, our keeper, is injured. I mean, he's got an ACL in real life, so it's only fair that we've given that to him. He's literally gonna be out for the entire season, and our only goalkeeper's in Yaki Pena. Well, I couldn't add Chesney into the game because he's not there yet, but for that, we're gonna need to sign now a new goal keeper at the very least. But wait, I can't believe this. Barcelona's budget for season one is only 58 million? That might be the lowest budget Barca's had in career mode history. This might be the hardest Barca takeover yet. I think the plan definitely is to sign a goalkeeper with the limited money we have. But before that, I want to set up our tactics. Now, right now, we've got Barca playing in this 4-2-3-1, which is basically Hansi Flick's tactics. And I know it works really well in real life, but in game, we're going to have players like Pedro out of position. Where does Gavi play? And it gives us more questions than answers. So guys, I've gone ahead and created a new tactical system. Tiki Taka. How original of me. But yep, I think this is gonna work. So basically, it's gonna be a 4-3-3. Focus on short passing, high defensive approach. We're gonna have Lamine Yamal being one of the stars as an inside forward. Pedri, De Jong and Gavi, if fit, they're gonna be all in that midfield. Left wing position, we've got Danny Olmo right now, but I can easily put Rafinha in there and it'll be perfectly fine. Of course, we could do with another winger, but I think all our money is going to go into that goalkeeper signing. Now, the plan definitely is to sign a goalkeeper from La Liga itself, just because they know the league better, and I think Unai Simon would just be perfect. I mean, even long term, he could give De Stegen a run for his money, but do we have the money to pull this off? Are we going to have to do something like a swap deal? You know what? I want to try something crazy. What if I swap De Stegen, who's injured for a year? I'll chuck in like 10 million. But would they be willing to take him? Of nope. course not. Athletic Bilbao aren't going to get played like that. Bro, Barcelona's squad is so thin. There are barely any players we can trade in. 50 million is going to be my offer. And let's just see what they say. Ah, oh, they won 61. Are we going to fail my first attempt at a transfer? This might be our best offer, boys. 52 million for Unai Simon. Well, they're willing to do 54.4. But we need to bring it down because there's no money for his wages. Okay, I'm sticking with 52. Ernesto Valverde, please accept this. This. And he does. Let's go. He's helping out his former club. Okay, I don't think we're going to struggle with the wages because Unai Simon's earning just 33k for the Euros winning player. That is so cheap. We're definitely giving him a massive wage bump up to 80,000 per week. He's accepting that. And with that, we've just made our first transfer at Barcelona. Welcome, Unai Simon. We've got our goalkeeper now, but I may have messed up because we're kind of broke. Just 1.7 million left in the bank because we're now going to struggle to hire coaches. I mean, I'm going to hire this five-star coach, but our weekly budget is just 26k. Okay, for now, I've hired coaches in like every department, but we are legit down to less than a million. And we still need to focus a bit on the youth academy because remember our challenge, we do need to scout some talents and I'm looking at the academy right now. It's just a bunch of frauds. In fact, I'm just going to release all of them. 
them. Okay, good thing is we already have one scout. Oh, the scouting system is all different in FC25. Of course, we'll send the scout to Spain for like nine months, but can we afford it? It's gonna cost 360k. Are we trying to emulate Barca in real life by being broke? Oh, we can now choose the positions we want talents in. Very interesting. Okay, I've just created a team of our best academy talents. Now, I think a few of these players can get to 85 plus rating, which we need. Like Lamine Yamal, Pedri, Gavi. Well, Pedri's already above 85. The worry I've got, though, is with the centre-back spot, Eric Garcia, Kenya, Ford as well, not sure, Pau Victor. I guess these are the positions we're gonna have to look at. All right, boys, these are the positions we're sending our scout for. Our last bit of cash has been spent on this. I also spent quite a bit of time giving almost all our players development plans, and I think we're ready for the first season, boys. We've done what we can. This is our best 11 right now. Let's get through the season and see if we can win trophies. All right, guys, we've made it to the end of the season and already that loss to Real Madrid does not look good. Okay, there is some solid growth in the team. Ah, oh, but Lamine Yamal only up to an 83. Wait a minute, what just happened? Was Lamine injured? He only played like five games. No way, the game just played Rafinha over him because he's higher rated. Bro, this is gonna really hurt Lamine Yamal's potential. He's one of the players that I think can help us win a Ballon d'Or. Speaking about the good things though, Lewandowski still got it 34 goals. And to be fair, credit to Rafinha. He balled out as well. At least we saw some crazy growth in the likes of Pedri, our goalkeeper Unai Simon as well, Araujo, even Gavi. But what about trophies? Let's start with the Spanish Super Cup, which we do end up winning, beating Real Madrid. Trophy number one in the bank. Oh, we don't win the Spanish Cup though. And La Liga, we miss out by a point. To be fair, we outscored Real Madrid's crazy attack, so I think that's a small win. But we're gonna have to push more, man, because I want Barca to win La Liga. What about the Champions League, though? Oh, we finished 12th in the league stages, but the playoffs wasn't an issue. Round of 16, knocking out Mikel Arteta's Arsenal. Oh, but RB Leipzig? Danny almost former club knocked us out. We end the first season with just one trophy. And wait a minute, my manager rating is critical. Oh, no, am I gonna get sacked? Well, if this was FC24, I would have gotten sacked. But in FC25, we can turn off that stupid sacking system and manage the club we want to manage for however long. So off we go to season two. I'm glad this is now in the game because you guys now playing on console can do your own takeovers. And that's so cool. Otherwise, on FC24, you used to just get sacked all the time. Fronts for budget increased. Now, that's a good message to start off season two. Okay, but it's nothing too crazy. We've got 90 million this season. Definitely better than what we had last time around. And since we could only win like one trophy, which was the Super Cup, not even a relevant one, maybe we need to make some sizable upgrades. I love the midfield that we have. Like, there's no reason this midfield can't win the big trophies for us. The defense too is really good. I mean, there'll come a point where we'll need to replace Christensen, but I'm fine with it right now. Up top though, I think it might be time to sell Robert Lewandowski. I know he scored a crazy amount of goals last season, but he's 36, not going to be getting any better. It's time to cash out. Also, by the way, Vitor Roque is back from his loan spell. I guess I'll use him as like a backup striker. Also, another player I think I'm gonna sell, to Stegen. He doesn't look the same after his injury, boys. Unai Simon has surpassed him. He's 88 rated. To Stegen's just 86. We've got Peña as backup, so I I'm, I'm, I'm bidding to Stegen. And that's the end of Robert Lewandowski's Barcelona career. But wait, why is he joining Atletico? This literally reminds me of Luis Suarez, but hopefully Lewandowski doesn't win La Liga against us. With that mark Andre to Stegen's gone too. I blame the injury though, because if not for the injury, I think we nope. wouldn't have signed Unai Simon and he would have still been number one. But hey, that's football. Oh, he's going to AC Milan, at least not joining a rival club. Oh, but now La Liga begins in about a week and we need to get a new striker and a really good one as well. Oh, with all the player sales, we do have the money to go big, 174 million. But before we make that striker signing, let me tell you about my youth academy escapades. Well, after a lot of hunting, I was able to find four decent players. Fernando Castillo is sent to back. Pedro Sanchez, Brace Varela, who already looks like maybe the next Lamine Yamal, and Aguer Valverde. I mean, it's so hard to find high potential players this year, but these were the best ones. But sadly, I couldn't play the youth tournament because we don't have a youth keeper. I guess this season, we're going to hunt for one. My goal with the youth academy is to maybe develop at least one player from these four and potentially five with the goalkeeper we sign to make our 
youth squad. Right now, this is kind of what it looks like. We've now got a couple of players above that 85 overall, so we're looking good for the challenge. But we'll need the academy's help. For now, we're focusing on the present, and we need a new striker. All right, guys, I've been hearing a lot of rumors about Rafael Leao being linked to Barcelona. Of course, in real life, not possible with the kind of money Barca have. But now we're in season two. The club's financial situation is definitely a little better. I think we might be able to afford this. I know he's a left winger, but he can play in that striker role. And I think we should be able to train him for that. Okay, but first let's try and sign him. I think straight away 100 million is going to be the bare minimum for not getting kicked out of here. And there you go. Just been countered with 140. We're already breaking the bank with Barcelona. But I think we need to do this, man. Last season, Champions League exit, no La Liga. We need to show the world that Barca are gunning for the top spot. And this would be a statement. 130 million for Leal. And look at that. He understands Barcelona's financial condition. Willing to take a pay cut. Oh, but that's a hefty goal bonus. Can I try removing that? Will he still accept this contract? Well, he's gonna ask for a lot more money, but I think this is better. And there you go. The second signing of my Barca tenure and it's a superstar. Rafael Leal is here. Just realized this transfer would be an absolute failure if it takes too long to convert him to a striker. Oh my god. Days, I'm an idiot. I did not expect it to take 159 weeks. Have we completely messed this up? Okay, so Leao should be able to play in that false nine role. He's got the plus sign. He should fit this system technically, but I'm starting to feel like we've wasted a lot of money. Let's get through the season and see if Leao actually delivers. End of the season and it's not a good sign that Mbappe is player of the season. Well, at least Rafael Leao had a good season scoring 24 times, but Vitor Roque had 22 goals. I think this was our front three. We signed Leao to play striker, but of course, he ended up just playing left wing because that's the position he knows. I'm an idiot for thinking we could have converted him. But hey, at least this meant Vitor Roque had a reasonable season. Lemin Yamal's growth has been so stinky. He played four games. What are we doing? We're wasting the career of one of the biggest talents in football. The thing is, what can I say? Rafinha is just outperforming him. Okay, I think I don't have a reason to complain here because Barcelona have just won La Liga. We Maybe not getting the best out of some players, but it's working as a team. Trophy number two in the bag. I really didn't expect that. Also make that number three with the Spanish Super Cup. Ah, Real Madrid took the Spanish Cup. They can have the crumbs. What about the Champions League, though? Quarterfinals this time. To be fair, getting knocked out to Man City. We're still figuring out our team. I'll take that. We actually even topped our group and were unbeaten, so we're clearly cooking up something. But for season three, I need to figure out now the striker position again. And I also need to figure out a way to make Lamine Yamal the guaranteed starter. He's too good to be on the bench like this. Wait, we're starting season three with a player leaving and it's De Jong? Oh, I think he had a release loss that I forgot to remove. Oh, wow. He's actually joined Arsenal. I'm such an idiot. I should have checked the contracts. You know what? I've just realized there are so many players who could end up leaving for the free. Jules Conde, let's renew his contract, but what are these offers? 460,000? No way we're offering him that kind of money. Okay, this is more reasonable, and he's willing to accept like 300k. There you go, guys. We sat there and renewed all the contracts. I don't want the De Jong situation happening again. Well, now signing another midfielder has got to be priority. Or maybe someone from the academy can come through. Wait, where are my talents? I literally had three more players in here. Where have they gone? Oh my days. They all terminated their contracts. I legit want to cry. I grinded so many youth academy tournaments just to get their potential up, and they've just run away. Bro, season three has been brutal. De Jong's gone. We've just got a couple of youth academy talents left. And you know what? I'm just going to promote one of them, Pedro Sanchez. We're going to focus on building you up. This goalkeeper's 16, so we'll keep him in the academy at least for now. But yo, building a full Barca youth team has just gotten way more difficult. We've got four 85 plus rated players in the this team right now. I don't know how we're going to get a full first 11. But now we'll keep that challenge aside because we actually need to focus on the present and build a stronger team. With De Jong gone though, I'm thinking, should we change our formation to this? I mean, player role-wise, this is how the team would look like. I think it makes a lot of sense. All we would need though is a world-class CDM. Oh, and since we did win the league, plus all the players that were just sold, do 34 million to spend. I like that. Now there is a CDM heavily linked with Barcelona these days. And his contract's expiring. Talking about Martin Zubimendi, 84 rated. He can play the CDM role really well. And we've got 
happen for just 40 million. Also, guys, another crazy decision I'm going to have to make. Selling Rafinha. It's the only way I think we get the best out of Lamine Yamal. I mean, look at that. The Vultures are swooping in as well, seeing Yamal not get game time. Napoli coming with an offer. Nah, I can't let Yamal leave. And that's Rafinha sold. What's up with PSG trying to sign all of Barca's wingers? Um, okay, we've still got, like, crazy money left in the bank. 335 million. Of course, I don't want to be signing any more wingers. Leao and Yamal will do the job. The one question is, Vitor Roque, do we get someone better? But he did so well last season. I'll just keep him here for now. Unlike Xavi, I'm gonna trust him. But I'm thinking, with the crazy money that we have, might be time to replace Christensen. And let's not mess about. Let's get one of the best centre-backs in FC 25, Alessandro Bastoni. He's gonna be worth upwards of 100 million. But if I put Christensen in this deal, chuck in another 40, it's enough to get it done. Bastoni is now a Barcelona player. Okay, guys, this team is absolutely insane now. A 90-rated goalkeeper Keeper. Both are centre-backs at 89. The midfield is looking insane too. I know Zubi Mendy's a bit of a downgrade to De Jong, but we've done what we can. I'm not worried at all about the trophies. I know the Champions Leagues, the trebles, they'll all come because our first team's good. The one worry I have is that whether Yamal will be a star. Because first couple of seasons, he didn't get to do much. Season three though, he needs to step up. And another worry I have is about our youth team. I don't know how we're going to get this 11 to an 85 overall. It, it just feels impossible. What I'm thinking is maybe loaning out a few youngsters like Pau Kubasi, who because of his overall we just can't give game time. And so there you go, I'm loaning out a lot of our top talents. Hopefully this pays off. For now though, we're making our way through the season while we're simulating. If you guys could take a moment and subscribe to the channel, that would be amazing. Maybe that'll help us win the Champions League soon. End of the season and this is why we sacrifice Rafinha boys. Yamal up to 88. 36 goals and 16 assists. Rafinha could never do that. But oh my days, Vitor Roque is just transformed into R9. Bro, he was not even part of my plans. But because of Leao's botch transfer that's also ended up being super successful, Roque got a chance and look at him now. In terms of trophies, we start off by defending La Liga by a big margin too. Trophy number four secured. And that's another Super Cup. Trophy number five. This time we win the Spanish Cup too, bro. We've won everything domestically. Six trophies so far. I just realized we're on for a treble. If we win the Champions League, are we good enough? Yet we have made the final. Barca versus PSG and they don't even have Mbappe. Yo, that's the PSG team we're facing. Fair enough, Rafinha. He's balled out. But nah, we're so much better. Come on, guys. Let's win our first Champions League and the treble as well. That would complete one of our challenges. Can we actually pull it off? And yes, Rafael Leao and I can't believe Eric Garcia have scored the goals to win us the Champions League. That's the treble done. First Champions League in the bag. And we're on seven trophies. Heading into season four with Barcelona. And honestly, I thought we were doing terribly because we completely botched our youth academy. All our players just seemingly left. We even signed Rafael Leao for the striker position, but it turns out he can't play there. In spite of that, somehow this team has just won the treble. We got super lucky with Vitor Roque just becoming the next R9. And you know what? That's why for season four, I don't want to change too much. I think the trick in FC 25 is to have a thin squad, young players in the bench and reserves, because then everybody seems to grow really well. That way, maybe players like Eric Garcia, Henry Ford, Valet, all of them can really grow and help us for the Youth Academy Challenge. And by the way, the players we loaned out are actually growing quite well. I mean, look at Pau Kubasi. I did not expect that. He's up to an 81. I'm starting to feel maybe, just maybe, we'll have a full Barca youth team with everybody being 85 plus. I think it's possible. But also a few guidelines for this challenge. For the youth team, every player must be a La Masia graduate or from our academy in-game. So to make things hard, yeah, Pedri won't count. Because I don't think he's Barca Academy. He joined from like the Canary Islands. So we're going to need Firmin to really grow. But talking about academy players, we do have a goalkeeper in here, Jacob Martinez, who's actually gone up to a 66 overall. Why does he have such weird stats like 42 diving? Bro's got 79 reflexes but cannot dive to save his life. I guess we'll promote him now and we'll just loan him out, I guess, because we've got Iñaki Peña's backup. He's got the potential to be 85 plus, man, so th there's hope. And there's Jacob Martinez going out on loan to Levante for a couple of years. Hopefully he comes back a better keeper. For now, we're making it through season four. Can we retain our Champions League? Um, wait a minute. I know we won the treble, but do we have a Ballon d'Or winner in our team and it might be Lemin Yamal? Wait, what? He's actually won the Ballon d'Or already? 
in just the fourth season, Lamine Yamal has won the Ballon d'Or and is the world's greatest player. I did not expect this. Well, that's one of our challenges ticked off. Yamal is 90 rated, but we've got a 93 Pedri in our team. Even Rafael Leao. Have EA changed the way how the Ballon d'Or is given? Probably. I did not expect him to win this so early. End of the season and we pick up yet another La Liga. That is a three-peat in the league. Trophy number eight. We also won the Super Cup. Make that nine. Oh, no Spanish Cup. So no treble this time. But we do win the UEFA Super Cup against Chelsea. That's our 10th trophy in just four seasons. And there could be more. Ooh, but this time we finished only 13th in the Champions League. That means we had to play the playoffs, but we go through. Round of 16, Barca knock Bayern. Quarterfinals, RB Leipzig. Semi-finals, Arsenal. Another Champions League final. This time against Valencia. This has to be a guaranteed win. I don't want to disrespect Valencia, but how did they make a Champions League final? This is their team. They've got Gabriel Jesus. That's about it. And we've got a 91-rated Laminia Malvito Roque, who's also reached 90. Nah, this team is absolutely insane. Look at Balde being our highest-rated player. Let's get that Champions League in the bag and let's go. Lamine Yamal with the winner. Trophy number 11 in just four seasons. Bro, I just want to see the stats. Vitor Roque. I mean, how is he doing this? The crazy thing is it's just out of luck that I put him in the team. Bro somehow now has 96 shooting. No wonder he scored 42. And Lamine Yamal, I don't think I've seen a player with this crazy goal contributions. That's 60 goal contributions, man. Absolutely insane. Okay, we're in season five. And why am I seeing Fabrizio Romano say, according to reliable sources at Barca, S2G's future is at risk? Well, Fabrizio, your sources are wrong. I've just won my second Champions League. And anyway, sacking is turned off for the TakeOver series. Oh, but things actually get better for season five because look at the amount of players back from their loan spells. And surprisingly, they've grown really well. Look at Pau Victor. Up to an 80 overall. Okay, it's a bit of a hit or miss because Ansu didn't grow that well. Kubarsi did up to an 82. You know what? I think I'm going to loan them out again. I don't think we need to have such a big squad. Let's loan out the youngsters so they can continue growing in their overall. But before we loan out our players, guys, we've actually got a full first team of just Barca Academy players. And honestly, I'm starting to feel we might get all of them to 85 plus if we can just keep loaning them out. But you know what? Talking about our current team, I do feel we need to freshen things up a bit. Because if we don't, I'm sure other teams will start catching up and we'll kind of fall off. And actually, guys, for over three years, we've put Leao on a striker development plan. Finally, we can actually convert him to one. And I'm gonna do it. And look at that. He's up to a 93 overall. I know we've got Vitor Roque and he's been insane. But hey, let Vitor Roque compete head-to-head -head with Leao. I've got a plan for the left-wing position that could make our team unbeatable. And that's Nico Williams, 26 Six year old he's now 89 rated in his prime him and yamal down the wings can you even imagine and i think if we put in a swap deal with say ferran torres this deal should be relatively easy yup 68.5 million chelsea is stupid enough to take this and nico williams is now a barcelona player converted nico to a left winger and he's now 90 rated now nah, guys we've actually built a super barca team and let's see if it leads to another champions league and yup both nico williams and and Lamin Yamal absolutely balled out together. But wait a minute. Vitor Rocky was still the starter. 39 goals. No way, guys. He literally benched Rafael Leao. Bro, what even is Vitor Rocky? He might be the best striker in FC 25. And a season like that has led to Barca reaching another Champions League final. Bro, we literally just need one more Champions League for the challenges. And we could get it like right now. How are teams like Sevilla, though, making it to the final? I just don't get it. I mean, hey, it's easier for us to go through and destroy them. There Easy. you go. Although it required an 86th minute winner from Lamine. But that's our three Champions Leagues done. Third challenge complete. And we're also on 12th trophies. But there's definitely more to come as we've won La Liga once again. Trophy number 13. Oh, but this time though, we didn't win the Super Cup. Not even the Spanish Cup. We lost the final. And we even lost the UEFA Super Cup to Crystal Palace. One season like this where we bottle easy trophies. And now getting to 25 is starting to look like a 
challenge. But you know what? When we've got a team like this, it is definitely possible. Season six, and I've got a bit of a dilemma. I know we lost a few trophies last season, so should we improve our team? Then again, we're still the holding Champions League winners. Three in a row. That's what we've done so far. Now, guys, we're going to get through the season and trust this team. Now, guys, without your surpassing Pep Guardiola, that's another league title trophy number 14. There's the Spanish Super Cup, too. No Spanish Cup, but we make it 16 trophies with the UEFA Super Cup. And another Champions League, guys. I just don't know how this team keeps doing it. This time against Chelsea. To be honest, I know how this team keeps doing it. It's just this crazy front three that we've got. I feel bad for Rafael Leao, who's suddenly out of the team in the picture. But I mean, hey, if we're winning Champions Leagues for fun, what can he say? And that's another one with Davi scoring the winner. 17 trophies now in six seasons. We might be able to go beyond 25 and even get to 30. Season 7 and we've genuinely built the perfect Barcelona team. It wins trophies for fun. Every player is 90 plus rated. I think we're going to smash through our trophy challenge. But right now I'm thinking, should we switch our focus to our youth team? Because we've got five players in this side already 85 plus rated. They're all La Masia. And actually, some of them like Fermin, Pau Victor, Eric Garcia even, they're really close to being 85 rated. But I think if we want them to reach their potential, we're going to have to start giving them more chances in the first team. Otherwise, I think we're going to fail this challenge. Ah, uh, it just feels crazy doing this, boys. But I think sacrifices will be made. I'm going to sell Rafael Leao. Even players like Danny Olmo will have to go. I might really regret this. Look at the level of players we're selling. But I think this is the only way to give the La Masia boys a chance. What on earth have I done, boys? Some of our best players all have gone. I'm really hoping this pays off and our youngsters can deliver. But yeah, no Bastoni. Kubasi's coming in. Kunde, who is 94 rated. We've replaced him with Sanchez, one of the few academy players we've managed to develop. In the midfield, I'm giving Casado a chance. He needs to become the next Busquets. Up top, Lamine still leads the team. We've got though Pau Victor on the bench and I need him to grow in his overall. Ansu Fati already above 85. That's awesome. But yeah, that's it. This this is our squad. Bro, our youth team has basically become our first team at this point, bar a few players. I'm still keeping Unai Simon because having a 95 rated keeper, I think, is going to be very valuable. That's why I loaned out Jacob Martinez. But maybe next season, we're going to have to bring him into the mix too. For now, though, let's get through this season and hopefully see some growth as well as continue winning trophies. And oh, wow, we still managed to win La Liga. And by a massive margin too. That's 18 trophies now. Okay, no super Cup or even the Spanish Cup. I don't like Madrid winning more trophies than us. Oh, we even lost the UEFA Super Cup. Champions League, though, a young Barca team, fifth in the league stages, knocking out Inter and Spurs. I mean, destroying them. Ah, oh, but in the semis, Man City got the better of us. We did win the trophies, but there's some solid growth all round. Look at Yamal up to a 95. Fito Rocky 97. But not just them, even the youngsters we decided to trust. Casado up to an 80. Kubasi 86. Our academy right back Sanchez up to an 82. Pau Victor up to an 84. Close to being 85. Same with Femin Lopez. Even Eric Garcia. I think the plan is working, boys. The Barca youth team is also going to be 85 plus rated if we can carry this on. We're now in season 8 and I'm fully ready to give everything to this La Masia approach. I really want to complete all the challenges today. For that though, I'm about to make a controversial decision. Unai Simon transfer listed. That's because Jake Jacob Martinez, again, one of the few players that we managed to develop through the academy. He's 83 rated now. If we don't give him a chance now, he's not going to grow. And that, guys, is Unai Simon sold. And there you go, boys. We're handing over the reins for the goalkeeper position to young Jacob Martinez. It's kind of frustrating, though, now that we can't make any signings, really. Like, we can improve the attack, but, I mean, are we getting any players better than this? Of course, I want to sign a better CDM, a better right back, but then these guys won't develop, so we're kind of locked in with this team. All our hopes depend on these guys just growing rapidly. And let's hope this season they can manage to pull that off. Okay, this is a good sign. Our academy keeper, Jacob Martinez. Most clean sheets in the league. Okay, bro does not look like an adult, man. What is that face? But he's just helped us win another La Liga trophy number 19. Make that 20 with the Spanish Cup. We're on course for another treble. But Anderlecht knocked us out. That might be the greatest upset in Champions League history. Okay, there's some more serious overall growth here. Martinez, our keeper, up to an 88. I'm glad we trusted him. Casado, 85 too. Nah, trusting the youth players, it's not resulting in too many trophies.
trophies, but at least it's gonna help us complete that challenge. I mean, this is our youth team. All we need is Pau Victor to grow by one more rating and our right back Sanchez. It's done then. Okay, guys, we might have focused a bit too much on the Youth Academy challenge because I'm looking at our trophy count at 20. We've now got just two seasons to win the remaining five trophies. To be honest, though, our team is absolutely insane. Look at that attack with Vitor Roque at a 98 overall, Balde 98, Petri 96. I know since we sold our big players, we haven't won the Champions League yet, but this could be the season. We also need Sanchez and Pau Victor to go above 85 rating. If that happens this season, at least the Youth Academy challenge is done and we can focus on just the trophies. Also about transfers, I don't think this team needs any. Feels like a while since we've won the Champions League, so let's go out there and get it done. Okay, this is not a good sign. An Atletico Madrid player has just won La Liga player of the season. Bro, huh? this kid's name is Van Dyke. Is he like a regen? We're now in season nine, boys. We're seeing some crazy regens. I mean, look at this. Quen Van Dyke, 27 year old, 91 rated. Or maybe he's like an academy player. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, we would have tried signing him if we didn't have, of course, Lemin Yamal, who once again cooked, man. These stats are just outrageous. Vitor Roque, too. Nico Williams up to a 97. Oh, our right back is up to an 83, too. Pedro Sanchez from the academy. And Bao Victor, too, has gone up to an 85. That means it's just Pedro Sanchez. If we get him to an 85, that's the Youth Academy challenge done. But let's focus a bit on trophies, and it hasn't started well with Real Madrid winning the Super Cup. Mallorca win the Spanish Cup. This is a disaster. Oh, my days. Atleti do end up winning the league. Bro, this is horrendous. I'm starting to think we might not make it to 25. But we are in the Champions League final. I think we literally need to win this if we want to even an attempt to getting to 25 trophies next season, and it's an El Clasico. I'm actually curious though, what's Madrid's team like? And it's insane. Why do they have a guest in midfield? So many regens or academy players too. Fair enough. But they still have Vinny, Mbappe, and Bellingham. Oh boy. This is it, guys, for trophy number 21. Can we beat Real Madrid? Yes, we can. Nico Williams scoring the winner. That means for the final season, all we need is four trophies, and Pedro Sanchez going up to an 80. If we do that, every challenge will be complete. All right, guys, we're kicking off season 10 with Pedro Sanchez, 24-year-old right back. We need him to grow by at least two ratings this season. I think it should be fine because he's got the wing back development plan. It should level him up to an 84 soon, but I don't know if he'll get to an 85. We'll have to really hope. But apart from that, though, this team needs to win all the trophies this season. We're on 21. We will play the UEFA Super Cup and the Spanish Super Cup. We need to be perfect in those. I'm thinking, do we make a signing in this final season because the truth is we haven't really done that in a while. It's because this team is already so freaking good. Where can we improve? Like, honestly, we could maybe sign like an insane CDM, but I like Casado, man. He's amazing. Kubasi too could be upgraded, but hey, 10 seasons in a career mode and he's still 26 years old. He's still got room to grow. Now, nah, we're gonna stick with this Barca team. I trust them to win the trophies. It starts with the UEFA Super Cup, though. Up against Man United and look at that. It's, it's unrecognizable. So many different players in there. Yep, not a single player from the current Man United team. Honestly, I think our team is way better. Oh, we've got our first 99 rated player doing Alejandro Balde. Surely that's going to help get us to win. And on penalties. That was tight. Now we just need three more trophies. End of the season and we're back to winning La Liga. That puts us on 23 trophies. All we need is a couple more. Oh, but Atleti won the Spanish Super Cup. Okay, but we do win the Spanish Cup. 24 trophies, just need one more. And we have made the Champions League final against Dortmund. I don't think we've lost a single Champions League final in this video. And we need that to continue, boys. Please, can we win the Champions League? No, not this way. No this way. The only Champions League final we lost was the most important one. I actually can't believe this team didn't make it to 25 trophies, man. Oh my days. Also, Sanchez couldn't make it to an 85 overall. Are we gonna fail our both remaining challenges? Nah, man. Not this way. So apparently, Sanchez should be 85 rated in four weeks. Okay, let's sim until the 29th, which is the last date we're allowed to. And if he is not 85 rated by then, we fail the Youth Academy challenge. Too. A few moments later. Let's go, boys. He has made it to 85. And we've actually pulled it off, boys. A full La Masia 11 being 85 plus rated. That challenge is done. And it's a shame that we couldn't win 25 trophies. Maybe we'll get that done with the next club we take over. Now, if you enjoyed this video, watch me become the world's greatest manager.